previously on Island Life. We're heading down to the theme parks today. But I also want to draw your attention over to the construction of the fan with the of Russell Island's brand new ferry terminal. And the Samu Swagging School again! Although not as many are. Look at that, we are boarding for Sky Voyages soon. And I even had an idea, Islanders, for the future. The Isle of Life VR. What do you think about that? A virtual re it's kind of like a virtual reality. All right, Islanders, it's the next day here on Isle of Life. And I've just gone ahead, I've just put another... I've got up to episode 820 already um, in their folders, in the respective folders on the uh, hard drive, and I've just gone ahead and I've rendered episode 806, so I'm going to be uploading like another 10 episodes when I get the chance to, Islanders, so that means that you'll get to see a lot more of these, and we'll very, very quickly be getting back to present day episodes um, very soon. Oh, we're hoping. Yeah, that's what we're hoping for anyway. All I'm doing right now is just trying to get the episode back up again and and yeah, just, just fix everything back up, bring it all back up to code according to everything. So we'll be looking forward to that, Islanders. And do you see what's in front of us, Islanders? It's a Woolies van. That's right, a Woolies truck. Yes, the Woolies delivery truck is actually right behind us. So, but we'll, we'll be looking good tomorrow. Uh, now it's going off to another street to deliver some more shopping um, to our islanders on Russell. And take a look at this islanders, there's already a roof already installed. Oh no, actually no, it's not, no. No, the post for the roof are being installed over there as you can see so we'll be looking good tomorrow <laughs> look at that already done <laughs> okay islanders it's much later on in the night and yeah i figured i may as well just um give you a bit of a an update so the ferry terminal building is coming along really well and we're hoping that it's going to be um, hopefully it's going to open up by year's end that's what I'm hoping for because yeah, it's, because the accessibility at the, at the current ferry terminal the temporary one it's not looking good at the moment like in that ferry terminal that we're going, that we're obviously walking across, there's like very, very little space. There are people that are lining up double file over there. They line up double file. There are people that are lining up in the in the in the direction that goes towards the ferry, which is which is the correct, which is obviously the correct file to line up. But then there are some people that are standing. In the in the side where where it goes to towards the um towards Russell Island, that's not where you're supposed to be standing. Hopefully, with this new ferry terminal that will open up, hopefully by year's end, um, should resolve that problem. You know the problem that um that a lot of the islanders over here at Russell are obviously struggling to understand. Do not stand in the arrival section when people have arrived okay because there are people that disembark at Russell Island and these these people here are obviously stopping them from getting back to Russell or even landing on Russell for that matter I don't know what is wrong with them but yeah they got to stop it because this is this is not good hopefully with this new ferry terminal that'll obviously widen out the, um, it'll hopefully widen things out, just like the old ferry terminal did, the one that now demolished. That, that old ferry terminal was wide enough that, that you could have like up to like three lines. Triple file, even. It's just ridiculous, to be perfectly honest with you. R ridiculous. 
that they were that um that, that people at Russell take advantage of the fact that oh there's like next to no room at all. <clears throat> that is not right. Hopefully by years then that new ferry terminal will open up and then people will be, you know, a bit more sensible. Because yeah. Because this island already has a already a an awful reputation. Uh, about everything really in general. I think in general this is what we have to put up with and suffer. Okay, so we're coming up for another weekend. Karaoke at the RSL. That'll be on tomorrow. And we've also got open mic at the RSL also. So I'm looking forward to that and hopefully bringing in something. And with that, obviously, it's really good because, you know, because I obviously, I obviously have a very special position there um, at this karaoke event. An assistant. <laughs> I, I, won't, I won't disclose details into it, but I just thought I'd let you know that I already have a position secured and that, that I'm obviously there. I'm obviously there at all of them anyway. Like, one way or another, I will find my way there. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's about it. That's about it for my rant right there. And, um, and of course, what I'm going to get up to this long week, um, this weekend. Um, so, yeah, hopefully you will all be relying on an Island Life episode every day. Just like always, thanks for watching this episode of Island Life Living in Poverty. Yes, I'm living on an impoverished income. Don't ask why. Leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Don't forget to click below and subscribe to the official Island Life YouTube channel.